Well, hello and welcome to Gemination Total Nerdy Channel. We are back for a highly needed tech tutorial again. Um, so yeah, if you want to see future tech tutorials, you should subscribe and uh, also check the tech tutorial playlist. We have a lot of tutorials about audio, how to fix your graphics drivers and uh, <clears throat> some performance increases as well. Anyways, if you really want to support me, you can go to Patreon and uh, I'm huge. I'm enormously grateful for my two current patrons. That's fantastic. Anyways, uh, you find their name in the description. But anyhow, uh, today I want to go through how to make your audio on Windows systems stop crackling and sparking. Um, I have had this issue when I'm using my computer. It can be offline or online. And I'm playing a music file or listening to a podcast or something like that. And at the same time, I'm also doing something else with the system. I'm kind of, um, I don't know, browsing, checking some social media, uploading videos, anything really. And it causes my audio to crackle and sparkle and it's just some internal disruption in the computer um, and I have no idea why that is. It's so weird. And I've been testing for a long time a lot of different fixes. I searched online and I didn't, I didn't find anything to fix this problem. Uh, one day I tried to update my uh, wireless card drivers and it fixed it for like a day and then it was back. That was really weird. And I think that was only luck. So I searched some more and then I tried to just remove the audio drivers. And this partly worked. However, that tutorial still gets uh, some good views and I think it helps people get rid of this problem, but it's temporary. And I've been trying so hard to make this go away permanently so you don't have to do the step in the earlier tutorial again and again and again. It's really annoying because you can't block the driver updates. It's really hard to do. But I now have found this new solution that solves the crackling and sparking and lag audio lag problems permanently. And uh, or at least so far I've been testing it, but um, I reverted back to old drivers and I'm going to, um, yeah, the audio crackles if I would browse the internet and do some other stuff at the same time. But uh, yeah, we, I don't need to show off that problem. Uh, you know, it's there. So yeah, how to fix this problem? Well, what you need to do is you need to go to control panel. In control panel, you have something called device manager. However, um, if your system language is not English, it will be called something else. In Swedish, it's Enhetsanteraren and probably the same in, uh, I guess, maybe Denmark and Norway, not sure, but um, anyhow, if it's in English, it's called device manager. And you should launch the device manager because it's with the device manager will fix this problem. And uh, you need to do like this, you take up the device manager. And then you go to sound, video and game units. And you find Realtek High Definition Audio. It, it's possible it's called something else, um, dependent on your sound card. Uh, Realtek uh, sound cards are really common, but if, it is, if, it, if it's not this, uh, it's called something else. But you should only have one audio driver and it should be called something High Definition Audio. You want to double click this and uh, you can see general information and then we have drivers because this is a driver issue yeah and in the previous video the old video I just removed the drivers and restarted the computer and it worked 
but what we're going to do is we're going to update a driver and it's not a normal update don't get me wrong here it's a bit more complex so you can have the uh, search automatically for um, updated drivers but this didn't work for me at all so just do like this choose drivers that's already on the computer yeah click that and then you click the next one let me choose from a list of available drivers from my computer and uh, make sure this compatible software is checked and here we have Realtek high definition audio this is the currently installed one yeah and this is the high definition audio so uh, it it's not recommended to install this driver but uh, we want to install this driver anyway so uh, you double click tag and you install it and we now installed high definition audio device and uh, yeah this is actually windows uh, usual or uh, windows uh, standard driver and this works much better than the realtek or it works the realtek is just causing this crackling and lag uh, so what you want to do now is restart the computer and uh, yeah i'll click yes there but i need to finish this video first uh, yeah so you want to restart the computer and it should work now and if everything goes well if windows works as it should do because you now now manually chosen chosen the driver that's windows default driver this will mean that uh, it will stay this driver will stay installed um, instead of replacing it with a real tech later on however if you have some real tech software some hard high audio definition device control panel or something from real tech if that's the company you use uh, you might need to install that or in the settings of that control panel disable automatic updates um, but uh, i don't have that so um, if you don't have it, it should work and most uh, that most people don't have it i guess so anyways, um, I hope this video will help you get rid of the really annoying crackling and sparkling audio. And yeah, I really hope that this is once and for all the final solution to the crackling and sparkling audio problem just. So yeah, try this out and it should work fine. Yeah, all right. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I wanted to go through this uh, really thorough and explain it well so people just don't get confused. Um, if there was still something you didn't understand, you can ask me in the comments. And if this worked, if this worked please leave a like and uh, yeah, considering subscribing or even supporting the channel. Until next time, this is Jimmy Dis from Total Nerdy Channel, signing out.